What's up guys, ViperFPV here, and uh, today I have the Armiton Rooster, and uh, just wanted to kind of go over what the components are on this, and uh, kind of show you close up, and then I want to do a flight, and then after that we're going to kind of get my thoughts on what could be improved and whatnot. Um, so starting off here, we have the um, Armiton Oomph Titan Motors, they're 2306, 2450 KV, um, they do look really nice, windings are really nice and tight. Um, they are connected to Armiton 30 amp B Heli S ESCs, and uh, wish they'd put 30 uh, B Heli 32 ESCs, but I mean, they work, and they you know, and they work, and and I'm pretty sure this thing flies flies pretty smooth with them. Um, it comes with a CL Racing F4. Um, it does come with a Amway um, 200 milliwatt VTX, which I did swap out because I want smart audio, so I did put a Unify already in this. And I'll have a video coming out soon uh, showing you how to swap that out and kind of showing you how it fits in there and the clearance and everything. Um, the session mount does not come with it. I added that on there. Um, the pigtail comes out right here, right in the back of the session. And then we have, moving on to the front, um, we do have the titanium cage for the FPV camera. Um, it does come with a Runcam Swift 2, um, and it works just fine. I had to swap it out for a Rotor Riot um, 2 Swift 2 camera, because um, I like the, the wider GoPro lens and everything else on it. Um, so, looking here on the top again, um, we just have the, kind of like the Chameleon. It has the uh, padding on the top. Um, it does come with a um, Omway um, antenna. It's a circular polar polarized antenna and uh, does have all stainless steel hardware all kind of flush mounted with the with the frame um, and they did Emerton did say they use different carbon fiber than they did in the chameleon so it's supposed to be like 40 percent stronger um, I guess we'll wait and see how many of these uh, arms we do break um, and that's another thing bonus about the rooster is it does not have a unibody like the like the chameleon, it uses separate arms on the bottom, and they're bolted in. Um, but other than that, um, let's take a look at the, go to the field and uh, see how she flies. All right, we're here at the field and uh, got the nice Armiton rooster here, and uh, we're gonna take her out, see how she flies, and uh, see how she performs. Um, it is pretty windy today, uh, not the best of all days, but it is a sunny, dry day. So um, I hope you can hear all of me well for the wind. Um, but what we're going to go ahead and do is after I fly this, we're going to bring it back to the bench and we're going to go over the pros and the cons of uh, and what they can improve on on this Armiton Rooster. Um, so uh, stay with me, watch the flight, um, and uh, see you at the bench.
So what's up guys, we're back at the, the bench and uh, I want to do a apologies first for the video. Um, I did have a crash, didn't show on the video, the first, actually my first flight and I uh, hit a tree and uh, prop hit one of the things on the crossfire uh, that kind of caused it to uh, come off and get messed up. So you heard this thing slapping against the prop the entire time. But um, So I want to kind of give my opinions on this frame and uh, let's kind of go over everything. Um, first things first, um, it flies perfect. It flies real smooth. It flies It flies just great. Um, I did take a couple crashes and the titanium cage, I mean, didn't even have, doesn't even have a scratch on it, even for me going in the grass and doing whatnot. Um, one drawback though is, is when you mount a battery back here, like a 1500, it does hang off the back a little bit. So I wish they kind of would just extend this or maybe put the plate a little more higher up so then we have a little more room back here. Um, the 1300s, they fit fine back here, so that's not an issue. Um, another problem I had too is um, I was flying today and one of these bolts came out. Um, made the whole arm loosen up so I had to put a, a bolt in there to kind of hold it, hold it stiff. And uh, I did reach out to Armiton, they're going to be sending me replacement bolts because apparently there's a an issue where they got some sample bolts and they ordered them and they were fine and apparently beyond that they got some that were not stamped correctly so when you go to tighten them up um, they uh, they don't tighten all the way even though because you, your driver's kind of stripping out in there um, but they're going to be sending me ones that kind of are a little deeper and you can kind of get there and there with the driver and secure them but other than those issues so far um, I haven't really had any problems with it. Um, I've put probably about uh, 15 to 20 packs through it already. And you do notice that I am using the 5040 props. Um, I originally was going to cover that in the original, my first part of the video. Um, I just like those uh, opposed to the 5045s just because they, I feel like they fly smoother. I have a little better um, flight, flight time too out of it. Um, but uh, if you like the video, like, subscribe, and um, we have a lot of exciting things going on in 2018. I am doing a giveaway. It's, uh, it ends on the 20th. I'll link that at the end of this video, and uh, if you guys want to join it and comment on it, uh, more people the merrier. And uh, I'll see you guys later.